Scooter! Scooter! Hey, Scoot! Scooter! Scooter, come! Come! Scooter, Scooter, come! Please? Wait, am I supposed to use his name or the come command there? What am I doing wrong? I get it, we've all been there. We've all felt like that guy. And that is exactly why I sat down with Instructor Meg to get to the bottom of what is the big difference between a come command and a response name. And does it actually matter? Well, in this video, she's gonna break down how to use that command, when to use that command, and which commands you should use so that you don't make things worse for you and your dog. I'm Dan, welcome back to McCann Dogs. So response to name is one of the first skills that I teach my young puppies when they come home. I wanna make sure that when I call my puppy's name, they know it's a great thing and they are keen to turn and look at me each time I say their name. We start out even with our online programs and our in-house programs by teaching these 10 week old puppies that when I say your name, good things happen. You get a treat, you get attention from me, even sometimes having some fun and playing with a toy. One of the issues that we find with a lot of students' dogs is that they hear their name so often all day long that they start to tune it out. Marley, Marley, no, Marley, 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 Marley. Marley. You can actually overuse your dog's name. So we wanna be really careful that if we call our dog's name, we are actually looking for attention from them and they're going to get something from us. Dogs do what's reinforcing. So if we call their, dog, their name and they receive nothing from us, after a while, their response to name is going to go down. We don't need to say, spot sit, spot down, spot here. That's overusing the name. So if I'm going to use my dog's name, it means I want you to turn and look at me. Now for me, the response to name is also an attention getter and recall combination. If I call my dog's name, I immediately want them to turn and look at me, but it might not necessarily mean they do need to come towards me. I might say their name and then ask them to sit, or I might say their name and ask them to move with me in another direction. The response to name is an attention getter, it is a recall, unless they hear other direction. When I first start teaching a response to name, I take a little bit of my puppy's breakfast or dinner, simply sitting somewhere like the kitchen or my living room. I repeat their name, followed by a treat, over and over again, spot, treat, spot, treat, spot, treat, until eventually my puppy thinks their name equals treat. Then when they do start to get a little bit more distracted, I can call that name, help them with the food to turn and reward them from there. Eventually that puppy learns that even when they're distracted, when I call their name, they need to immediately turn and look at me because their name equals cookie. After I've done a number of training sessions where I'm working the name and immediately feeding, I also work some of those restraint recalls, but with response to name. So you may have seen this in some of our past videos, but this is probably one of our favorite puppy exercises to do. This hallway has trained many puppies with us. And uh, one of our favorite things to do is some little restraint recalls to start teaching her her name or even a hear, hear, hear command. So I've given uh, Ken a little handful of her breakfast. I have a little handful of her breakfast as well. And we're just gonna sit on either ends of the hallway and we're gonna call back and forth, tire her out a little bit and have a really fun way of teaching her about coming to us. Okay. Ready, set. Good girl. You're going to get so much faster at this. Good girl. So once she eats the food, I have food here. I'm just going to hide it away. I'm just going to turn her around. Ken's going to try and get her attention. Ready, set, Yuki. Good job, all right. Okay, and then we'll turn her around. Here, cutie. We'll turn her around, we'll do it again. Ready? Yuka, ready, 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 say, Yuka! Here, 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 here. Oh, she's an old pro already. And you can Good really girl. see the dogs pick up the pace, really yes. get excited about hearing their name when you do exercises yeah. like this. This is, a gr this is just such a great way to reinforce yes. the value of coming to their name. Girl. It's also really important when you do this, see how close we're feeding her? I'm letting her come right in. Okay, we're gonna pull Ken. Ready, set, you girl! Yay! Good girl! Now 
we didn't make a big deal when she didn't respond the first time. Now this is, I mean, the first time we've ever done this exercise with her, but the one thing I want, I wouldn't do is call her name over and over again. Uh, the next time I need to make sure that I have a little bit more focus before I call her name and uh, when Kale releases her. So let's try this again, ready? Yuka! Yes! Good girl! We could also sneak that little puppy sound recall in there ahead of time since that's something that she's kind of familiar with already because her breeder did that when they were feeding. Good girl! Wow, Missy Moo! Come on, Ken, give okay, your best pup a pup. Pup, 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 you can! Yay! Good girl! <laughs> this can be used for the come command and response to name. I want my puppy to learn that when they hear their name, they want to race towards me as fast as possible. That's going to build a lot of speed and a lot of excitement for each time they hear their name. And that's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to make their response name a fun thing, not a nag, but something they generally want to respond to and are excited about each time they hear their name being called by their owner. There's a big difference between response to name and my come command. My come command is used very infrequently in my dog's everyday life. In fact, I can't remember the last time I said the word come to any of my dogs. If I say come to my dogs, that means you must not think about your options. If you hear come, you turn on a dime and sprint towards me as fast as you can. When might I use this? If my puppy accidentally got out of the front door of my house and he started chasing a squirrel across the yard towards the road, I'm going to say come. That is my emergency command. If there's a skunk in my backyard and I don't want a chance if my dog's going to turn or not, I'm not gonna say one of my more casual responses. I'm going to be using my come command as well in that situation. So come, knee jerk reaction, don't think about whether you should or you shouldn't, or if there's better options for you. When you hear come, you're going to turn on a dime and run back towards me as fast as possible. We train the come command very differently than many of our other commands. I don't risk saying come to my dogs unless I can guarantee I can make it happen. When we have baby puppies, we do a lot of work with having a person restrain them while we say come and take off running in the opposite direction. Eventually, as our dogs gain more skills, we often attach a longer line so that we can ensure that every time we call them, we can make it happen. When I'm teaching one of my young dogs both of these skills, I wanna set myself up to be successful. I don't want a chance if my puppy gets to respond or not. So when I'm training in the house, they are wearing a house line at all times. That way I can ensure that if they choose not to respond at any time, I can immediately stop them, take control, and then help them to be successful. When I'm working outside, I have a long line on my puppy at all times. They don't have the option of running around my yard, having a puppy burn and having fun without me. All of the fun and training is going to involve me and our relationship. When I'm training both the response to name and a come command, I wanna make sure that I have really, really fun and valuable resources for the dog. For many dogs, that includes some high value treats. My border collies tend to really love tug toys. So I use the McCann dog's puppy tug. He goes absolutely wild tugging on that when he comes back to me every single time. Just to complicate things a little bit further, we also have an informal recall. So in my dog's everyday life, they hear the command here, far more than they would ever hear the command come. Say for example, my puppy's out in the backyard in the morning going to the bathroom. If I want him to come back in towards me, I might do a little here, here, very casual. When he's a baby puppy and he's first come home, this is very similar to a little pup, pup, pup. That means I want you to move towards me, but it's not a life or death situation. If I'm in the kitchen and my puppy ha happens to move in towards the living room, to see what another family member is doing. Again, I might use a little here, here. I reward them still. I still make it lots of uh, fun. I make it engaging to move towards me, but it's not the same urgency that I would use the come command for. I also have an extra command that I use with my very small dog right now to teach him to come in nice and close to me. And that actually is the command close. Not everyone uses this command, but I find it really helpful with my little seven pound Papillon because when I want him to come in close, I can take that food, lure it in nice and close to my body. He gets fed while he's actually touching my leg and then I can reach in and take the collar. So, my criteria for this close command is that he needs to be so close that the back of my hand is touching my leg, good boy, and his nose is attached to my hand to get that treat. If he's any further away from that, then that's not close enough for me. 
For our recall training and classes, we often teach this with a sit in front. So often after the dog has worked a response to name or a come command, we teach them to come in nice and close into a sit so that we can reward them. They don't learn to get the treat and then take off running again. We can even reach down and take their collar or attach a leash if the dog's been given a little bit more freedom and been allowed to move without the leash on. Well, there you have it. Now that you understand the why, it's important to understand the how and how to train these skills properly. To do that, check out one of those two videos right there. And on that note, I'm Dan. Happy training.